Hi everyone, Dr. David Kelly here with Synergy Wellness in New York. Um, this is for people with costochondritis. Um, there's a lot of you out there with just feeling hopeless. I know that. I see the messages. I read them, believe it or not. I read the comments. I may not answer and reply to all of them, but I read them. So I want you guys to know that. Um, we have a gentleman here that's been treating with me for how long now? Four weeks almost? About that, yes. But um, tell, tell everybody a little bit about your case, how long you've had it, um, you know, and, and what you've done to treat it over the past 10 years. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably about 10 years ago, I felt like I was having a heart attack and, you know, went to the ER and they were like, you know, no, you're your heart's fine. Um, you know, did a whole heart workup and they said, you know, your heart is fine. And it kept happening, and uh, finally an ER doctor said, you have costochondritis. And I'm like, okay, so how do we fix this? And they're like, yeah, there's no cure for that. You hear that? <laughs> there's no cure for that. So, A lot of things there aren't cures for, but this is one of them. There are cures for this. This is curable, right? This is fixable. Uh, they just don't understand the condition. Go on. Oh, no worries. Um, so, yeah, I mean, since then, I mean, I think the orthopedic at the time put me on uh, NSAIDs. So I was taking, you know, like 800 milligrams of Aleve or Naproxone, um, but that didn't really help. Um, and it really just over the last 10 years, I mean, I've tried everything from acupuncture to PT to... Uh, back pod that I learned about on the internet on Reddit to you know you name it I've given it a try and uh, you know have not found a solution yet and it sucks because you know you get this heart attack feeling and you, one day you wonder is it gonna be actually a heart attack or is it actually just the costochondritis so I, uh, I googled and found uh, you know, synergy and, you know, learned about this low laser light therapy and, you know, figured I would give it a shot. And that's what we're doing on him right now, by the way. That's this the handle I have on him. I'm, trust me, I'm not feeling up his, um, his left breast here, okay? So uh, we're, we're lasering, um, and most of your pain is, um, well, we won't get too much into which side, right? You can have it on both sides. If you watch my other videos, uh, if you're not too familiar with them and with costochondritis, watch my other videos. We have a whole playlist of costochondritis videos. But that aside, how are you doing? We're about three, four weeks in. How are you doing so far? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, I haven't had the heart attack level pain since, you know, we've started. So that's and that's progress. Yeah, and, and the whole point of the, this video is really this doctor is telling this doctor, you know, put him on NSAID, said there's nothing else you can do for it. A lot of you out there have gotten that same exact message from your doctors, okay? And I get the frustration, but there are things you can do for it. And I'm telling you, all of you right now, go to a chiropractor, first of all. You will get results for those uh, mild to moderate cases. You will get results, but follow through. It could take six to eight weeks, even 10 to 12 weeks for severe cases. Now, severe cases, you're going to need something more than just chiropractic and mobility in the rib cage and the thoracic spine. I talk about that all the time. Watch those videos, please. But the mild cases, go see a chiropractor. The moderate cases, you might need more than just a chiropractor. You might need um, cold laser therapy or low-level laser therapy. Um, we're located in New York. If you're in New York, obviously you can come here. But if not, um, you know, you know, you're in somewhere else. We've had people come from different parts of the world even uh, to treat for this. So if it's really bad, find somebody with cold laser and then you could see a separate chiropractor. But there are a lot of chiropractors that do have cold laser. And we're three, four weeks in. We're going to cure. We're going to fix this for him. And if you want, I'll go right into it right now. Um, we haven't had that conversation, me and him, yet, that big conversation. But that conversation is about what he needs to do next. So we're, um, we've now gotten rid of most of that pain, if not all of it. 
So this week after this week, we're going to transition him into physical therapy. And it's really important. I talk about this all the time. You want to hold that for me there? You don't want to start the PT too soon, right? So don't go to a physical therapist first. Don't put the cart before the horse. You got to calm the inflammation and the pain down. That's what we did with laser. We improved his mobility in his thoracic spine, corrected a lot of misalignments in his spine. He also has scoliosis. So that's another issue. He's got a whole, a whole bunch of other um, issues that we're not, we're not getting into that right now. We're just dealing with costochondritis for him. Um, but uh, the pain is improved. Now we need to get him to strengthen his back muscles and not his chest muscles. And in order to strengthen your back muscles, you have to use your chest muscles in most cases. So that's where people get caught up and it flares up. So we're here, we're gonna have them go right, right over here in, the, in our office, do some physical therapy. And if there are any flare ups along the way, I can correct them, I can calm them down with laser therapy um, and an adjustment if needed at that point. So um, I wanna let you guys know there is hope out there, right? And yes. how much improvement have you had in three, four weeks? Uh, definitely about 50% 50, 50 improvement. Okay. So there you go, folks. I hope you get the help that you need. Thanks for tubing in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.